Picture this, a cozy evening, perhaps a bowl of buttery popcorn in your lap, and the flickering black and white images on the screen slowly coming to life. It's a time travel experience without the need for a DeLorean. I'm talking about that moment when you first laid eyes on the 1942 cinematic gem, Tarzan's New York Adventure. The mere mention of it might be sending waves of nostalgia down your spine, conjuring up vivid memories of the first time you ventured into the jungle alongside Tarzan. Remember the thrill as Tarzan, played by the legendary Johnny Weissmuller, left the untamed wilderness for the concrete jungle of New York City. The juxtaposition of these two worlds was nothing short of mesmerizing. The vine-swinging hero faced a whole new set of challenges and misunderstandings in the urban jungle, but his iconic yodel never failed to resonate. As the credits rolled, perhaps you found yourself reflecting on that unforgettable blend of adventure and comedy, the heart-pounding action sequences, and Tarzan's timeless connection with his animal companions. There's something truly magical about a film that can transport you to another time and place, immersing you so deeply that you feel the breeze rustling through the jungle leaves and the honking of taxis in the bustling city streets. Now, let's take a journey even deeper into the heart of this classic movie. Prepare to be amazed by some fascinating, random facts that you might not have known about Tarzan's New York adventure. These tidbits will add a whole new layer of appreciation to this cinematic masterpiece. So, without further ado, let's swing right into the world of Tarzan and uncover these hidden gems. Get ready to be entertained and enlightened, my friend, because we're about to embark on an adventure of our own. Into the world of Tarzan, 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 Tarzan. Tarzan's New York Adventure, released in 1942, is a classic film that brought the iconic jungle hero, Tarzan, out of his natural habitat and into the bustling streets of New York City. This installment is part of the long-running Tarzan film series, and it stands out for its daring departure from the jungle setting. A movie follows Tarzan and Jane as they travel to New York with their adopted son, Boy, in search of a missing aviatrix. This fish-out-of-water narrative explores the stark contrast between Tarzan's primal instincts and the modern urban environment, resulting in comedic and heartwarming moments. The film's enduring appeal lies in its charismatic portrayal of Tarzan by Johnny Weissmuller and Maureen O'Sullivan's Jane, who together defined these iconic characters for a generation. Their chemistry and the juxtaposition of their jungle upbringing with the city's chaos are central to the film's charm. The movie's unique style blends adventure, humor, and culture shock, making it a delightful watch. While not the first Tarzan film, Tarzan's New York Adventure remains a noteworthy entry in the franchise for its audacious premise. This film's impact on popular culture extends beyond the silver screen. It contributed to the lasting legacy of Tarzan as a beloved character and has influenced subsequent adaptations and parodies. Moreover, it's a testament to the enduring appeal of stories that explore the clash between nature and civilization. Tarzan's New York Adventure continues to be celebrated as a classic that takes audiences on a wild journey from the jungle to the concrete jungle. In the 1942 movie Tarzan's New York Adventure, a lesser known yet intriguing fact adds depth to the film's history. It revolves around an unexpected source of laughter and a peculiar aviation connection. Sheeta's famous laugh, one remarkable aspect of this Tarzan installment is the iconic laugh of Cheetah, Tarzan's chimpanzee companion. Surprisingly, this distinctive chimp chuckle was not the product of a trained animal but rather the vocal talent of Mickey Daniels, a former R gang member. What's even more astonishing is that this laughter found its way into numerous films, often serving as the expressive voice for various animals. Yet, on occasion, it was even used to voice Mickey himself. This unique vocal contribution by Mickey Daniels has left an enduring mark on cinematic history, enhancing the charm of Tarzan's New York adventure. The plane with a peculiar past and a curious twist of continuity, the airplane featured in Tarzan's New York adventure carried an intriguing backstory. Bearing the British registration GAECT, this aircraft had previously made an appearance in Tarzan Finds a Son, back in 1939. However, the plane's history wasn't the only unusual aspect. Unlike typical cargo planes like the Dakota, which boast cargo doors for loading, this aircraft lacked such an entrance. This detail raises a peculiar question, how did they transport the lion cages necessary for the film's plot? 
Even if the cages could somehow fit, the limited space within the small plane would have made for quite a challenging journey. This enigmatic connection between the two Tarzan films offers a unique glimpse into the behind-the-scenes intricacies of Hollywood's golden era. A unique elephant encounter, another distinctive aspect of Tarzan's New York adventure is its portrayal of adult Indian elephants. Unlike other Weissmuller Tarzan films that often featured these elephants with prosthetic African ears, this particular installment showcased them in their natural form. This choice added a touch of authenticity to the film, allowing viewers to witness these majestic creatures without any alterations. It's a subtle detail that sets Tarzan's New York Adventure apart from its predecessors. In conclusion, Tarzan's New York Adventure is a film filled with intriguing details and connections that add depth to its narrative. Whether it's the iconic laughter of Cheetah, the enigmatic airplane's history, or the unique portrayal of Indian elephants, these elements contribute to the film's enduring legacy in the Tarzan franchise. In a pivotal moment for the Weissmuller Tarzan franchise, the 1942 movie Tarzan's New York Adventure marked the final appearance of Maureen O'Sullivan as the iconic character Jane. Directed by Richard Thorpe, this film not only bid farewell to O'Sullivan's portrayal of Jane, but also showcased some intriguing behind-the-scenes recycling of footage from earlier Tarzan films. One remarkable aspect of Tarzan's New York adventure is the recycling of scenes from previous Tarzan movies. The film ingeniously incorporated footage from Tarzan Finds a Son including the breathtaking shots of the escarpment, the gripping plane sequence at the outset, the thrilling stampede of wildebeests and giraffes, and the playful chimps in the treetops. Even Tarzan's daring ascent up a tall, tilted tree and the heart-pounding high dive from it were not entirely new to fans, as they had been previously featured in earlier Tarzan installments. The synchronized swim scene also made a return, adding an element of nostalgia for avid Tarzan enthusiasts. Beyond its cinematic quirks, Tarzan's New York adventure holds historical significance, as the first film shown free to service men overseas. A 16mm copy of the movie was shipped to Iceland and screened on May 10, 1942, providing a dose of escapism and entertainment to those serving their country far from home. As we reflect on the enduring legacy of the Weissmuller Tarzan franchise, Tarzan's New York adventure stands out not only for bidding adieu to a beloved character, but also for its resourceful reuse of iconic scenes, reminding us of the enduring allure of the King of the Jungle on the silver screen. Silver screen. In the annals of Hollywood history, the 1942 movie Tarzan's New York adventure stands out not only as a classic installment in the Tarzan franchise, but also for its innovative cinematic techniques and historical significance. As with other Tarzan films of its time, it boasted an adventure-filled plotline and the iconic portrayal of Tarzan by Johnny Weissmuller. However, it is worth noting that this film is not without its share of fascinating trivia. One intriguing aspect of Tarzan's New York adventure is the heavy use of recycled footage from earlier Tarzan movies. For avid fans of the franchise, it may come as no surprise that this film borrowed scenes from its predecessors. Notably, the movie features scenes such as the thrilling plane sequence at the beginning, the breathtaking shots of a running wildebeest and giraffe, and the playful antics of chimps in the trees, all of which were directly lifted from Tarzan Finds a Son. Even sequences depicting Tarzan's impressive feats, including running up a tall, tilted tree, executing a high dive, and engaging in synchronized swimming, had been showcased in previous Tarzan films. Beyond its cinematic quirks, Tarzan's New York adventure holds a place in history as the first film shown free to service men overseas during World War II. In a heartwarming gesture, a 16mm copy of the film was sent to Iceland and screened on May 10, 1942 providing a taste of Hollywood escapism to those far from home. In summary, Tarzan's New York adventure may be remembered for its recycled footage and daring cinematic choices, but it also leaves a lasting mark as a source of comfort and entertainment for the servicemen serving their country overseas during a tumultuous period in history. In the 1942 film Tarzan's New York Adventure, a fascinating behind-the-scenes fact emerges, shedding light on the movie's production. This Tarzan installment, starring Johnny Weissmuller and Maureen O'Sullivan, presented a unique challenge to the filmmakers as it featured Tarzan and Jane navigating the bustling streets of New York City. Amidst the urban jungle of the Big Apple, two notable aspects stand out. 
Firstly, keen-eyed viewers may recognize the circus scenes within the movie, which were set against the backdrop of a grand circus tent. What makes this particularly intriguing is that these scenes actually recycled sets from the Marx Brothers 1937 comedy classic, A Day at the Races. This creative repurposing of existing sets highlights the resourcefulness of Hollywood's golden age, where efficiency and ingenuity often went hand in hand. Additionally, Tarzan's New York adventure holds historical significance for another reason. It marked the final appearance of Maureen O'Sullivan in her iconic role as Jane within the Weissmuller Tarzan franchise. O'Sullivan had portrayed Jane opposite Weissmuller's Tarzan in several previous films, contributing to the enduring popularity of the series. Her departure from the franchise after this film marked the end of an era in Tarzan cinema. As a bonus tidbit, the airplane featured in the movie, bearing the British registration of GAECT, is a familiar sight for fans of the Tarzan series. This plane had a previous cinematic life, having been destroyed in a crash in Tarzan Finds a Son. An interesting detail about this aircraft is that, unlike planes like the Dakota with cargo doors, GAECT lacked such an opening. This posed a logistical conundrum in the film as the story required the transportation of lion cages. Even if the cages somehow fit, there was simply no room on this small plane for more than one cage, adding an element of suspense to the movie's plot. In Tarzan's New York Adventure, the blend of recycling film sets and the departure of a beloved character adds layers of intrigue to a classic tale of adventure and adaptation. These behind-the-scenes insights provide a unique perspective on a film that continues to captivate audiences, reminding us that even in the jungle of Hollywood, resourcefulness and evolution are key to survival. As we reach the final vine swing of our journey through the lush cinematic jungle of Tarzan's New York Adventure from 1942, I invite you to pause and reflect on your personal connection with this timeless classic. Perhaps you recall the awe that washed over you as Tarzan, the Lord of the Jungle, ventured into the concrete jungle of New York City, his wild spirit clashing with the urban world. Did it make you ponder the clash between civilization and nature in your own life? Or maybe you were captivated by Maureen O'Sullivan's portrayal of Jane, her strength and determination in the face of the unknown. Did her character inspire you to embrace adventure and the unfamiliar? And let's not forget Tarzan himself, portrayed by the iconic Johnny Weissmuller. Did his silent, yet powerful communication with the animal kingdom remind you of the profound connections that can exist beyond words? Now, it's your turn to share. We'd love to hear your cherished memories, reflections, or thoughts about Tarzan's New York adventure. How did this film touch your heart or influence your perspective? Feel free to drop your insights in the comments below. Thank you for taking this cinematic journey with us and for sharing your thoughts. Your engagement makes our exploration of classic films all the more rewarding. Until our next celluloid adventure, take care. And remember, the jungle's call can always be heard, even in the heart of the city. Warm regards, your name, your name, your name, your name.